Hi there and welcome back. Today I'm going to try and install a trailer hitch on the green P38. I already have one on the black one, it came with one. I ordered a new one from Germany for this one. So let's start doing that. We'll have to take off the bumper to gain access to bolt it in. First we'll have to remove the mud, fla mud flaps. Then we'll have to remove this inner cover here on the bottom part. The mud flaps are held in by screws here. I think there's just two of them. You know what? I think I'll leave the mud flaps on. They're attached to the, to the bumper anyways. The holes are so rusted, so it's hard to get them off. I don't think we'll be able to get off that bolt, it's so rusted. I think I'll take the angle grinder and just cut it. I did manage to get it out on the other side. I think somebody's had this bumper off before. You can see this clip right here. There's supposed to be a fastener up here. It's stuck over there under the plastic. It's hard to see, but over here on the other side, the clip isn't attached. It's uh, loose. It's pretty much the same principle as on the front bumper. So up here on each side, there's a cover that you pry off, if mines are missing. And then it's an 11 millimeter, uh, I think it's 12 point socket. And then we'll try and get these loose. And my right side bolt just uh, sheared off. Good old rust. <coughs> the left one is really stuck in there. I can't get a socket to sit on it. So I have to find something to get it loose with. Okay, so we got the bolts out. I had to um, angle grind this one out. That one uh, sheared off as you can see. Now I'll just take a rubber mallet and uh, knock it out on each side and then pull it out. You can see it comes off the clips. Make sure you clean these uh, hangers really good so and uh, grease them up so that you can get, get the clip back in. So this is the trailer hitch kit. It has this bar that uh, goes between those U-joints on the bumper. And you have the hitch attachment and a bunch of bolts. This uh, hitch is rated for uh, 3,500 kilos, so it's uh, quite heavy duty. Let's see if we can uh, start assembling it.
As you can see, I can't fit the inner bolts from the top. So I'm doing those from the bottom with a nut on the top instead. Then we're ready to put the hitch assembly onto it. And there's bolts coming through this lower cross member into the hitch assembly. And then we have this adapter plate here. And finally the ball hitch. <coughs> so that's the major components. You can see that there's an outlet for the um, plug here, but I'm going to use the bumper uh, outlets. I have a 7 pin and a 13 pin. We have a 13 pin here in Europe too for the newer trailers. So I'm going to wire up both of them so I can use both kind of trailers. Twenty-four, twenty-two, seventeen, seventeen. It's never going to be taken off, but I'll try and rust-proof it a little bit anyways. For the electrical bit, open the access door on the right side of the car. And uh, that plug in there is for the trailer. It's not connected to anything right now. And you'll run the cable under the car and up there. So let's do that now first. And then we'll try and fish it out into the hole there. So I haven't looked on my black one where it is, but I can see one plug right here. And um, I'm pretty sure that's the plug we want to take out and uh, run, run our uh, cable up through. Cleaning off the area a little bit first. Plug came out at least. I'm gonna poke a hole through the mat so that we can see where we're coming into the car. So this is the seven uh, wire trailer cable I'm gonna use. And I'm going to run two of them up there, since I want to have both standards of plugs on the, on the back of this Range Rover. I don't want to do any splices or soldering out there in the rust prone area. So it didn't come out quite where I wanted it to come out. Which probably means I have to um, take out this cover a little bit so we can uh, route the cable under the carpet and uh, get it on the inside. Lift away the waste seal a little bit and then you can pull out this um, cover, Just clear it off the
a couple of clips along the bottom so I guess the pro tip uh, would be to um, move this out of the way and uh, lift up the carpet before you push the cables through then you won't have a nice little hole in your carpet then you can also fish out the plug there carpet and insulation back in place and then we just have to match up these clips Push out that connector. There we go. It com comes with um, ready for pin out, but um, I'll just uh, cut this off and splice in my own connectors and solder everything. On the back of the fender, we'll install these uh, reinforcement brackets using our bolt. eight millimeter head hex head you have the trailer socket and a bolt through it into there and a washer and a nut on the back side Run your cables through here and connect them to their plug. I'm greasing up these uh, sliding brackets here. Ideally you should be two people lifting this in place and try and slide it in. I think I can do it on my own, so let's see. Make sure your sides are even and in the clips on both sides and then you can insert the two bolts going down up to hold the fender in place and turn the clips inside the fender down and into the grooves to uh, secure them in. Here you can see uh, one of the bumper clips on the front uh, towards the wheel where it's been clicked in place that uh, that metal rod has been pushed upwards make sure those are downwards when you put the bumper in and then push those uh, rods up to lock the bumper in place so right behind here then we just need to put in those two screws there one on each side and we're all set to go to uh, hook up the wires in the trunk so a little correction you want to put the gasket piece on the outside of the fender and then feed your cables through, connect them up into the casing and we'll try and get the screws through the gasket like that so it's all sealed up and, uh, and good on the European ones there's a little drain hole on the bottom so make sure you have that down the lid opens this way that then way and then we just aim it up through the hole and the bracket and attach a washer and nut on the back side Then we just have to do the other one. I'll put the wiring diagrams for the European spec in the description. I know uh, Australia and America has their own standards, so you should look up how you should hook up your 
connections. The main difference between the 7 and 13 pin is that um, the 13 pin also carries uh, constant power and the ignition signal, which is useful if you're having a camper, for instance, and you want to charge your uh, caravan while you're driving. And since the Range Rover has provisions for two uh, connectors, I figured I could have both of them here, so why not? Then I don't have to use an adapter each time I use a newer uh, trailer. It looks like the first seven wires are identically wired between the 7 and 13 pin. Forgot the gasket again. Bolts go through the gasket, so we get a watertight seal, and we'll repeat the process, installing a washer and nut on the back side. So you might be wondering why I had so much extra wire. I just zip tied it all up here, nice, make sure it doesn't rub on anything and lay between here and rub. And not stretched anything. The reason I have more uh, wire than I need is in case you need to take off the bumper because there's no quick connect for these uh, wires. So then they can put the bumper on the floor and access uh, anything if they need to.